Yeah, take a take a closer look at this thing. It just sheared right off. <laughs> What's going on? Welcome back to Haywire RC, and the Nitro Slash is finally back. It's been a couple months. We've been having a lot of fuel tank issues with it, which is why it hasn't been running good. First, it was just had an awful idle. It would not idle, and the tune was awful just because the fuel tank wouldn't pressurize. And now, fuel tank didn't pressurize at all. Which I ordered a new seal, put that in this morning. So that's all good now. I'll go over more of that later. Yeah, plan today with the truck. Get this thing tuned up. The tune has not been tuned to the cold yet. It's going to take a little bit to get the tune down, but it should be uh, running good after that. So here's the truck right here. This morning we replaced the uh, seal and spring and even the cap for the fuel tank. Because the uh, fuel tank would not pressurize and there's a huge leak causing, you know, the engine not to start. Also, what's changed, we do have a pull starter on it now. Which actually, uh, it did lighten it up a lot. The suspension's thanking me. It's, it's not, not sagging as much. It's got a perfect amount of sag. If you don't care for the easy starts, I recommend putting a pull starter in your nitro slashes. Definitely balances the chassis a lot more. I'd like to see how it drives now with the... Uh, lighter rear end yeah which the pull start we're using as you can see it's my old hpi one this was on the k5.9 we did have to get a one-way bearing for this the uh, 12 millimeter one all right guys so go ahead take her outside fire her up all right everybody filled up the tank time to fire it up Here, the engine doesn't turn over, so let's see what damage is done. I don't even know what's going on with this thing. Today's a weird day. Today is a bizarre day. What the hell? Alright, I can't figure out what's going on. I just can't move it over. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Guys, it's seized. <laughs> oh, no, no. That is not supposed to be there. Oh, my what God. <laughs> oh, my God. What happened? Dude. Oh my god. No way. No. <laughs> Not the nitro slash. How the hell did that happen? How the hell did that happen? Oh my god, look at that. Well guys, this thing actually ran great. I uh I'm not sure if it might be the pull starts fault, but the uh you know the thing to spin the crank just split in half and uh, absolutely chewed up the connecting rod. The sides of the block, yeah. It, it's not looking too good for this thing. Not yeah, good at all. Take a closer look at this. It's yeah, take a take a closer look at this thing. It just sheared right off. No boy now. And then yeah, right in the right in the crankcase if you can see. Alright guys, well it gets worse from here. As you can see, that side's all chewed up. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, as you can see, it's actually it's actually I got the spin over, but it is pretty bad. You can see the scratches right there. And it gets worse. It's a little hard to see in there. But there is a hole on the side of the piston. And also turning it over, you can just feel every piece of metal. It does not turn over smooth. So this thing is blown. This engine's blown. Go ahead, take it apart for you and show you what's what's up. All right, what the hell, guys? That is metal. Damn, I really wish I got that on film. It sounded super weird. You just heard, you know, it wasn't even revving high. I just hit the throttle a little bit, lay off, then poof, then silence. Then we walk up to it and the engine couldn't even turn over. Yeah, there's even more metal underneath the head button. What the hell, man? Like, can, can, like can get a break. yeah, and now I gotta drain the tank. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> and guys, out of some miracle, I don't see a scratch in the sleeve. 
I'll take the sleeve out and take a closer look. Also take the piston out, see what else is wrong with it. All right, let's take this piston out. Oh yeah, there's metal everywhere, yeah. Wow, it's damaged. Well, this will make a great keychain. See the, all the scratches. Yeah, this thing's not too pretty. Check out the connecting rod. Connecting rods all scratched. Yeah, pretty gross. Guys, yeah, the more I just stick my finger in the block, the more metal comes out. But just from looking in there, I don't really see much. So maybe we can save this and do a rebuild later on. I don't really know yet. Stay tuned for that, though. I'm hoping to do a rebuild. It's going to cost us 100 bucks just because of Traxxas being expensive. 3.3 might have to be our only option. Or maybe like one of those extremely expensive OS engines. But again, we don't have 300 bucks. No. Yeah. <laughs> well, I do. I just don't want to spend Yeah. yeah. I mean. Nice <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's, there's 300 bucks right here. We, we might have to say goodbye to this. That's straight in for an yeah, engine. That's never going to happen. Hell no. Just to let you know. Yeah, guys, it seems like every catastrophic event that happens on this channel, we never catch on video. Hey, final good news of today. The bearings are saved. I'm not even sure how. I guess nothing got into the bearings. Maybe something did, but it doesn't sound like it. Anyway, guys, um, unfortunately, that'll pretty much be it for the video. This video's, because this thing idled great. This thing ran so good. So if you're having any troubles... With the idling, running lean, it is your tank seal. Get a new tank seal. I don't even know how much they cost. Probably 10 bucks, Super cheap. And it saves you a whole lot of problems. Even though I guess it blows your engine after you put it in. So just be, be aware of that. Be cautious because a new tank seal will blow your engine according to today. So don't buy, moral of the story is don't buy a new tank seal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't buy a new tank seal, everybody. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you're entertained with all the damage that happened today. Yeah, stay tuned for another LST video because hopefully I don't jinx myself, but the LST is the only truck that can run. So, yeah, it's, it's knock on wood right here. Anyway, guys. So I'll be taking money out of my savings account for this. Hope you enjoy the video. I certainly didn't, but it's life. Whatever. You move on. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'll see you later. Don't forget to like the video, too, because liking the video means the video is good. This is a good video. You know that. Uh, hey, YRRC. Why are RC?